<laughs> well, the one that you use in motion capture has a lot of big white balls on it. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a really bright, shiny yeah. ball. I'm 35. This is not a racial joke. Sure, that's embarrassing. <laughs> um, I like call them magic balls. <laughs> my, my, that's I, racist. Yeah. We didn't get to you know you get a, a great choice of guns when you play the game. We do not when you're shooting the game. Um, I just had my my one. I just like that gun when I had Chris on the ground, and I think I have a gun to his head. It's been a couple of years. It's this thing where you're on the ground, and I'm like, uh, that was fun. I like the sniper rifle. <laughs> sniper. Just keep maxing that gun out. One shot, one kill. One shot, one kill. You, sir. Pushing the button? Yeah. Like pushing the button and the, like trying to like... Yeah, yeah. A conversation to... Uh, uh, I can't. Probably just like, come on! I can't! Come on! I can't! Come on! I can't! Come on! I can't! Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Give me some ammo. <laughs> I need an egg. <laughs> That's, Liam started that whole thing. I need an egg thing. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Liam. Thanks, Liam. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is death. Okay. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Good. Good. Are you gonna kiss me or something? Or something? <laughs> Can you write down on a piece of paper? Ah! <laughs> That's the Spanish mix then. Cesare. <clears throat> my name is Ezio Auditore da Firenze. You killed my uncle. <laughs> Prepare to die. <laughs> Princess Bride, right? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! That's the best. Yeah. See, you know what? Like that's a lot of like when I started doing that. That that was kind of what I was drawing from is Indigo Montoya. You know, it's like such a great character. Yeah, inconceivable. <laughs> such a great character. Oh, wow. And you know what? <laughs> what? Alice. 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 Oh, uh, uh, there was a couple of hands up over. Is that a white flag you're wearing? Oh, uh, white flag. And, and then I got you right there, brother. And then you're next, because you, you've been asking a long time. A uh, white flag. I, I, okay. White flag! I know you're not the voice actor for. Why's it gotta be a white flag? Oh! <laughs> yeah! 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 Racist person. That's five. Just yell, Chris. At I the think volcano? it's when he's melting in lava. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which was awesome. Chris. <laughs> Woo! That was and 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 yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, you've been waiting, please. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? A favor. I only have ten bucks on me. <laughs> Can you wash my car? <laughs> I'm not wearing any underwear. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the favor. <laughs> okay, what do you want? I say, okay, you're already five in a scenario. Where's the zombies? You're three characters from already five. How would I die about the show? Oh. Ooh. Wait, wait, where uh, are, are we? we? Zombie? Or zombies? Zombies are coming at us? Are the only survivors, how would you punch me? Uh, well, well, time to start seven. making some babies! <laughs> For the only three survivors, I'm sorry. I'm saying, for the good of mankind, I kill him. I'm not trying to be awkward. Oh, God, help me! And then I get to make it some babies. Oh. <laughs> then I go find some Barry White records. Oh. Sorry, Karen. Me, kill Chris, I need some Barry White records, and some roofies. <laughs> and a whole bunch of uh, Mike's Art Lemonade. Chris! <laughs> Chris! <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so, anyway. So bad. Yeah. <clears throat> Moving right along. Okay. Sorry I went there. And went? I, what about the Grab Thar's Hammer over there? Oh, right on. What's up? Hey guys, first off, big fan of, of the games. Karen, I met you before. I was Dante back at uh, Family. Oh yeah! What's up? The wicked Dante. Thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, I actually want to ask you guys, since Resident Evil Afterlife came out and finally had Chris Redfield after four movies, Jesus Christ, like uh, how do you guys feel, um, especially after the new one, like they've, um, you know, had Chris Redfield, like, you know, he's not as buff as, you know, in the game. No, and, and, and do you think they'll have like maybe Sheva in the sequel, maybe or like? We, you like, know, I, I thought I saw something in, in uh, production info about them talking about the next one, and I, I, I don't I don't know anything about where they're gonna go with it, but it would be awesome. It'd be awesome. I want to play Joe. And, uh, <laughs> it would it would be awesome to see it and. I think it's racist it that they didn't put her in on this one. I think that's what's going on. <laughs> Start the fire. <laughs> nice. so just, I've not even seen Afterlife. I, I'm a bad, I'm a bad person for, for not having done that. But it's okay. And you will be spanked. Sorry. <laughs> I'm too busy doing volunteer work. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't have time to watch TV. Uh, using money. Uh, in the back there with the hand up and the camera. Wow. And I, uh, I was hoping to get you to say, uh, will she say yes to the dress in Ezio's voice as well as Sonic's? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a multiple personality disorder? Yeah. <laughs> will, will she say yes to the dress as Ezio and Sonic? Yes. And I have, to, I, I have to apologize because I have a cold too, so it's a, uh, it's a stuffed nosed version of. Will she say yes to the dress? Yes. Oh boy. <clears throat> uh, Gosh! I wonder if she'll say yes to the dress. <laughs> Works very well. That's perfect. Uh, now do it as Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. Good. <laughs> You've had your hand up for some time. It's got to start to hurt. Oh, we had a blast just every, every day when a woman would yell, where's Jill? I mean, we were talking about that in the like, <laughs> Where's Jill? And I'd be like, ah! So we, we had, that was like a red gag. Yeah. Where's Jill? I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys know anything? I don't care! <laughs> but you, you were saying something really helped me. It was making funny when you were like, looking at the gun and you're like, it's so big. <laughs> Yeah, there's a, like a couple of those lines, you know, like, I'M COMING! <laughs> and, and, and the name's like, <laughs> Like, say it again. Louder. <laughs> or, uh, Don't look at me. You put the lotion in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's like so many jokes during the motion capture, though. I can't. I almost had a blooper with that one scene where we're there at the bottom of the stairs and I come walking down like, well, Chris, welcome on. Oh, yeah. And um, I, I had was on this big ladder with very narrow steps and I couldn't look down to see where I was walking because I could read on the mocap suit. So I was like, I had to keep my eyes up and I'm like, trying to find the stairs. And, oh, God, this is going to happen badly. We did like eight takes, you know, and I'm like, oh, Jesus, this is terrible. And it was like 20 feet of... of Ass kicking had I fall. <laughs> Could have been a little bit. Was... There was one point where, you know, there's so many Maginis throughout the game that we all ended up playing different Maginis. And the, that that was a, that actually was a funny. Did you do that one? Where yeah. we're all come, Yeah, so there's like a, 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 a bunch of stairs and we're all supposed to be like this mob scene and, and everyone had like an axe and, you know, and. Even Patricia was in on it, and Ruben, everybody yeah. like was in Magini mode, and we're all like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> we're, running, we're, running, we're running, we're running back and forth, and we had to like trip and fall, and yeah, that was kind of so when, when I was fun. being pulled out of the plane, I had this Hong Kong harness on, and, um, which is what we used for firework, and who was, who 
was pulling me that. It, oh, that Anthony. was painful. <laughs> that could have been a, a really bad blooper. <laughs> Hi! We're <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, Question in the front? I want to say the, the, but I don't know if that was, if that clip... Nina's pretty hot. There was like the, motor, the motorcycle, the uh, jeans. Oh yeah, that was bad. Oh yeah, with the jeans. Yeah. Those that, guys that, are pretty dope. Those were the most frightening. Bajini said could ride cycles. The Hells Angels. Did they have motorcycles? They actually had motorcycles on the, on the set, didn't they? No, 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 not an actual motorcycle. Oh, tricycles. Had, uh, a bike. A really vicious bike. Razor scooters. From huh? Toronto, we had a, a, a wooden light cycle. I'm saying. Yeah. I ride a light cycle today, dude. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> In the back there with the camera? Have the urge after you're finished to go do something like Exio, like find a wall or... Yeah. Actually, I just, um, uh, over the Christmas break, I actually went to Italy for my first time. And, Ooh. and it was awesome, like, being out. I was so amazed at the job that Ubisoft did. Did you with, kill anybody? Uh, no, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. After getting pushed and bumped around uh, Italy for a while, there were a couple times where I was like, oh, if only I had a hidden blade right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, but I wanted so bad. In fact, we were at the, the Coliseum, and uh, my girlfriend wanted me to, to like try to climb the wall and, and try to take a picture from down here. And I was like, but it's the Coliseum. I can't do this. <laughs> but no, there were, I was actually very, very surprised at how realistic they, they portrayed. There were so many things that I thought they put in the game just so that the game character could swing around and, and climb walls and all that stuff. But it turns out all that stuff is actually in these buildings. Like In, in the Duomo, there's... I thought these bars were there for, so that Ezio could do some acrobatic moves. Like, no, all that stuff's there. Like, all these little metal things on the sides of buildings in Venice were there. It was, uh, it was really cool. But who wouldn't want to be able to do what those guys do, if anybody could? Man, that game really pisses me off. Because, I mean, that guy, he jumps like 80 feet. 80 feet, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? In, in our own defense, Chris Redfield pushed a boulder. <laughs> you know? like, yeah. Take a little creative license here and there. He punches it, too. Yeah. yeah. Stupid rock! <laughs> and I also think it's kind of funny, too. Sorry. I think it's funny, too, that it's like there's Wesker in lava, and all he thinks of is Chris! <laughs> like, not out! <laughs> 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 That was a blue <laughs> Two flags waving over there. Two white flags. This is a uh, See? So, as Ezio, can you say, Leonardo da Vinci's dead sexy in a miniskirt? It's kind of, it's unfair. I think it's a given that he would be. Uh, oh, poor Leonardo. <laughs> Leonardo. Leonardo is dead sexy <laughs> without a miniskirt. He <laughs> does not need this miniskirt. You know what's funny? For the longest time, I hated trying to do the voice. I feel like I relied so heavily upon the dialect coach because I wanted so bad. I, I, it, it was I, how in the heck a guy from Orange County that's of Scotch Irish descent with a great tan like mine, you know, <laughs> got a role as a Renaissance era Italian assassin was beyond me. And so I was really, really unsure of myself in all these sessions. And so I relied really, really heavily upon that dialect coach. And, and she did an excellent job of like, giving me little tools and things like that. So for the longest time, people would ask me to do lines. And I was like, Ugh, okay, because I know I'm just going to butcher it. You know, it's like, I'm going to, my first attempt, I would always see the lines and be like, uh, how the heck am I going to say this? Like, I can remember the little rules of things. I would say like, D. She's like, no, it's D. And you're like, oh, okay, let me try that again. That was like, so frustrating. It was, but it was fun. I mean, it's like, you know, like you were saying, like, chops and things like that. It's like, it's just, it's invigorating. It's like you're, you're working with a whole team. I, I think the thing I love about video game voice acting especially is you feel like you're a part of a production staff. Yeah. Like you're a part of the production itself as opposed to just showing up and having somebody go, like, hey, just read this for us, or, you know, that kind of thing. And, and with that game especially, uh, I mean, most of it's so involved. I mean, especially RE5 as well. The, the mo I, I didn't even have to do any of the, the full-body mocap stuff. I was just doing facial and, and voiceover. And even that was like exhausting for me, and a whole new set of challenges with having to be aware of all these different things 
So it's really challenging and invigorating at the same time. But yeah, that was... Uh, it looks like a cool game. My, my nephew has it. He plays it all the time, but he, he, call, he calls it Ass Ass Inns Creed. Ass Ass <laughs> <laughs> Ass Ass Inns Creed. It's pretty awesome. Though. <laughs> It'll take a lot of time. Kind of like this for Roger. In a Sonic Adventure, no, there's a scene where Sonic says, Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! Uh, could you say that in your Sonic voice? Oh god. My Sonic voice is terrible right now because of the cold. Uh, <laughs> You know what I'll do? I'll do the Alton Towers version of that, because everybody hated that. I, I guess there's... So, uh, what, what's the line? Check out the consoles! Yeah, exactly. Check out the consoles! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If, if Sonic fans know, you know who you are. <laughs> I'll let I'll let I'll let Ken and Karen answer this question. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> no, we'll make something. No, no, they'll make something up. It'll be a bit better answer. I'm sorry. We keep interrupting. But please answer your question. Yes. Chris, um, for Resident Evil Five, are you also reprising the role for Marvel's Cup of Three and Resident Evil Yes. Woo! I don't know. <laughs> Ken, what do you think? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what what can be discussed or not. Like, I, I hate answering that, but like, we sign all sorts of contracts and things like that to, to not divulge any anything of the game. And I, as far as any trailers are out there, I don't know what's out there yet. Um, I think there's been some gameplay stuff that's come out that sounds eerily similar to what I've done in RE5. And if that's the case, then maybe from that you could possibly maybe divulge that I maybe have done the voice for that. Wow. Maybe possibly. I don't know. That we'll have to wait to see. Slick. <laughs> slick? Slick. Yeah. Alright. So slick and slide. Yeah. Slick. Uh, yes, you, sir. Uh, my question's for Roger. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, hang on, hang on. Oh, gotta have another no, no. question. Oh, I, I, I can go to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these are valid questions. Go ahead. Uh, what, what voice did you do in Epic Mickey? <laughs> Oh, an Epic Mickey, uh, I did some, uh, just in, in, what, what they call incidental characters, just like oh. little guys here and there. Um, God, I think there was like some goofy town characters, like, I haven't even gotten through the game, but there's, uh, there's a town where it's like a bunch of characters that look like Goofy, or like they could all be related to Goofy, and it was uh, <laughs> some of those incidental characters. I, cu I couldn't even think, like, it's kind of funny. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know, but the kid is distracting. What is What's up there? Man. What is it? We hear anything? You alright? There's somebody in there. Cool, dude? Oh, yeah, there's nothing up there. There's nothing up there. There's nothing up there. Incidental characters. I wish I could remember what it was, but it's like oftentimes you show up, sometimes they just say, hey, be at this location at, at 10.30, you're going to do three characters for a game. You show up and they're like, alright, we need a, you know, a, a big rotund sounding guy. And then we need a little character, and we need this, and you just go in and you do it, and all of a sudden you like, you know, an hour later you're in your car going, what the hell did I just do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's difficult to, to keep track of a lot of the characters, because uh, Literally, especially games like World of Warcraft, you go in and do two or three characters in a, in a row, and you don't even know their names. And all I know is I, 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 did a, I was a Jamaican troll. <laughs> troll. Yeah, like, Excuse me? Wow. a Jamaican troll. Like, the, the, the trolls in World of like? Warcraft are Jamaican. And, and they had me come in, they're like, so Ken, you're going to play a Scottish elf and a Jamaican troll today. And I'm like, of course. <laughs> what time is this bar open? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's... Go and do all these things. And you I want to hear your Jamaican, yeah, Jamaican elf. We want to hear this. It's uh, terrible. I, they had me do it, and, and I tried. They tried to bring me back to do more Jamaican trolls like a year later. And I, uh, it's, I was going to embarrass myself, but I'm not afraid to do that. <laughs> uh, everything I am cool running, don't you be taking it back from me, man. <laughs> that's a Jamaican. That's not bad. <laughs> I like that. Wow, oh, wait, Jim in the back. Uh, so, Chris gets with Jill, so who does Shema get with? Did she get with Josh? Ooh. Oh, Josh! <laughs> I love, I, I think, um, TJ. <laughs> TJ Oh, there's a little jealousy there. Who the hell gets with Wes? Who's man? Josh? I don't even get excelled. I'm sorry, didn't I tell you about him? Yeah. Um, TJ Storm is oh, such a good friend of mine. Josh! 
The boat, Josh. The boat. <laughs> yeah, a minute and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, TJ and I did a couple films way back when with uh, Ice T, and that's when we first met. And so when we got cast on this, I had no idea he was involved. And we saw each other on the set, and I was like, Oh my god, that's so cool. Um, it, I would think that something had happened in their past. It was never like it, what? It, it was never. It was never. You know, really put in the story, but, you know, they know each other, and uh -huh. you know when people know each other. <laughs> <laughs> like, could be. know each other? Yeah. You know. Yeah? Possibly. Uh -huh. But, you know, Shev is, Shev is single. <laughs> I'm still looking around. Yeah. Single and ready to make. Single and ready to make. She's not ready to settle down. Uh -huh. We were just partners, so... <laughs> Tony, strictly about the work. Yes. You would use the glasses you had your hand in for some time. Do you guys audition for these parts or do you just show us and they put the parts for it? Woo! I, I like that second part. Yeah. Wish that was more of a Audition. Uh, there's auditions. Um, I mean, all of us have relationships in the industry where people will recommend us for certain things because they know that, you know, we would fit it. And, uh, but then there's still a process that everybody has to be approved by the companies involved and the producers involved. There's a lot of cooks in that kitchen and everybody has to be happy about who they pick. So there's still a, a selection process. So in relevance to my question, so is there a part that you guys didn't think you wanted or a part that you didn't think you wanted? Ah. Gentlemen? Yeah, uh, it, it for Tron. Have you guys seen the movie Tron? Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's the one of the actors, he's, he's like, hi, welcome to my club. Oh yeah, Zeus. Michael Sheen. My, my, Michael Sheen. Hmm. Uh, that character's in the game, and I really wanted the, that I auditioned for the three characters I got and the Michael Sheen character. I don't know if Michael Sheen plays in the game, but it was just so much fun to be like that. Well, what do you think? You know, just doing all that fun. It was awesome. I really wanted that character. That was, that would have been fun. Ah. Uh, I know, I was just going to say something. Sometimes I don't know, because these productions take a long time, if I, if I hear about them later on, I mean, before, before Sheva Alomar, I don't think there was a part that would have been my casting, but, I mean, maybe voice-wise, but, um, I don't know, I mean, for video games. Singing for video games? No. Oh. Uh -uh. Can't think of one. I don't know. I actually, if if I ever had a choice on anything, it, it's it's rare because you don't really get a, you don't really get to choose the characters you would love to play. But I've I've said this before. It's like one of the if you could be any character in the game. Somebody last year had asked, you know, if you could be any character in RE5, what should be? And I would say Wesker. I think the bad guys are the cool characters. It's just so it's fun to be evil in the sense that it's all for a game kind of thing. Uh, I, I'm not good with lava, so I wouldn't want to try it in real life. But, <laughs> no, I, was, I would say, <laughs> but that's what's kind of weird too, I mean, uh, exfoliating. Yeah, it's, it's the ultimate good peel. For the, <laughs> the ultimate peel. But no, I, I, uh, I would say... Brazilian wax with lava. <laughs> the hard way. <laughs> Brazilian wax and then some. Took everything off. I'd like to be Laura Croft, but that was done a <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? On Castlevania 2, I put, um, Zed, I, I, I played Zed, it, 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 was not, it, was blow, it, was, it was not English blow out of time, no, wait, no, I can't remember, but anyway, I did the character, and I did two or three characters for that game, but then they did the voice over later, and I was really bummed because, uh, I think they changed his accent, and I really liked the choice that they made him, like a cockney guy, and they made him a like that. Anyway. Okay, so we got right in the back. You haven't had your hand up yet. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. You're up. Okay, so this is for Shadow. I'm pretty sure this is already asked. But I've read a lot of reviews, like as far as like top female characters, I guess, and apparently you rate them like better than I have. Can you talk about like you were like one of the people next to me, like what was your favorite character? Like what was your favorite character? Sweet! Woo! You say it like that, I'm pretty good. <laughs> uh, no pressure. Uh, you know, like, 
like what Ken was saying at the beginning. I, I really had no idea what I was getting into, mainly because they wouldn't tell me anything. It was so secretive. <clears throat> Even through the whole, I'll try to make this quick, through the whole uh, green screen shoots, I still didn't know what was going on. They would just give me on a need to know basis. So when we got to the part of doing the voice work and I was chosen to do the voice, it was such a great experience. When I saw the reaction of it, I mean, I, I was so, I was really touched, uh, especially um, when the nomination came last year for uh, the Achievement Awards, which Roger had to tell me. He was like, congratulations, you're nominated. I was like, what are you talking what about? Are you going to Vegas or something? And, Vegas? Like, and I think the nominations came out in January and he told me in March and I was like, I had, I had no, yeah. There's one right behind you, and she's <laughs> awesome. Stand up. Yes. Woo! Right, 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 right. That's hardcore. That's, 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 that's the first one. That's the first one I've seen dressed up with. I'm making a public announcement now. Dress up, damn it. Dress up, Shevas. Woo! Shevas, come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There's so many costumes. There's not another chef in the room, right? <laughs> okay, really quick. Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. You guys, go ahead, because you had your hands up for a while. Um, this is a question for Ben and Karen. Um, when you guys are doing the motion stuff, do you have to act out or are you just like there? Oh, we are doing the script again and again and again. We're acting out everything. Just like a movie. We Cause really we spent a lot of time creating the character relationships and discussing with Jim how we felt about the person, the scene, what was going on around us. I mean, we, we created those characters just like you would on the film. But not only because of that, because everything needs to match up. From the moment that we do motion capture and say the lines and our heads move a certain way, then who's ever doing the facial capture it has to match the dialogue the way it was said in the motion capture, and then the voice actor has to match the voice to the face to the body. I luckily got to do all those things so I didn't have to really like match up to somebody else. These two had to match up. No, sorry, that was a real mish mishmash. Sure. You, and, yeah, you and Ruben, you and Ruben had to match up. Yeah. And um, DC and Ken had to match up. And the lines and the, the acting is kind of like the guideline to follow. Like that's our, our spine, you know? So we all have to do our job as the character. So that matches up. But it absolutely starts with the mocap in that, in that sense. If it's going to be done separately with mocap artists and then voice actors doing something different, if the if the motion of the I mean, if the scene is you know Chris or whatever the, the situation might be, like it's calling for a vocal performance that's this, and the the physicality doesn't quite match up, it, it's it's, it's like going to look yeah. Chris. It's like, Chris! <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 it's kind of like an elephant. <laughs> yeah, I've been on both sides. Like for Tron, they had to uh, match the mocap to the voice I got from John Glover and Eccles Eccleston, the guy from Supernatural. Do you know this guy? Woo! Um, I had to match. I had to match the motion for him. But then I've also like DC had to match my motion for. I've been on both sides, and it's 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 difficult. And I'm so glad to say that they're they're doing it all together now. They're doing voice and mocap and face. Even same time, just like they did Avatar, um, it's starting to be that way, and, and that's a great, great thing because the performances you're going to see are going to become even better. Are we good for one more, or what? One more, really quick. Really quick. Really quick. Really quick uh, I got a live feed to uh, Allison Court in, no way. in Canada right now. Oh, cool! So she played Claire Redfield. Oh. Yay! Um, so I'm feeding her live right now. So if you want to say hi to Allison. Allison, hi, Allison. we love you. Hi, Allison! Sister! <laughs> Where's okay. Jill? Where's Jill? <laughs> Where's okay, the cool. And last question. Last question. You pick it, Ken. For all three. Who has it? Oh, wait. Oh, what did I do? Red Riding Hood, Jill? Aww. When do you wear Red Riding Hood? Other than the last time. No. It's, the, <laughs> it's the kinky what? fetish download. Is that the kinky costumes. fetish? To Sheva? Okay. <laughs> no, no, I mean, just in the mental image in my mind I have. Oh no, she's also got a little schoolgirl outfit or something, right? 
Or is that just what I'm hoping for? No. <laughs> Question. Any of our characters? Seeing as I have... The one I have, I, I would mind. Uh, I like Sheva. I always play bad guys. <laughs> yeah, but he's bad. I, I, I've, I've made a career out of being bad, and that's not cool. Oh. It's the song. I like the giant you truth with the big uh, axe. I'd be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Walking to go get Starbucks in the morning. Come here, Mocha. <laughs> if I could be anybody. You would get a mocha dressed like that, too. For free, very likely. Yeah. Extra whipped cream. Can we just let her ask one? Just... Go ahead. Sword oh, for sure. What, 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 uh, I'd be chopping heads off like they were cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, what is that thing called? The, you know the the with the big uh, the ball with the spikes and the yeah. I like one of those. <laughs> Swing things. <laughs> you would throw a very hot cappuccino on him. <laughs> Burn his face. <laughs> I think uh, that's it, huh? Yeah. Woo! Thank you for coming, you guys. Woo! Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing.